up my fellow gang weeders, car seeders, whatever you may be. Today is a spur of the moment video, not really spur of the moment, I've been planning it for, for weeks and weeks, but I'm going to say it's spur of the moment because it's funny. This is a guide to car seat headrest. A undefinitive guide. Un 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 to be exact. This video will be in three whole parts, believe it or not. The first part will be introducing you to car seat headrest if you do not know about Will Toledo and all of his music and blah 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 blah. Second, I'll be telling you uh, how my, why I like the fucking band and what albums you should listen to first if you know nothing about them. And the third part uh, is the bonus part where I'm gonna talk about certain drama in, in the car seat headrest community and, um, and advertise my own music because that's fun. Anyway, let's get on with the video. So, if you know nothing about Car Seat Headrest, they're a band that started off as a solo project in 2010, started by Will Barnes or William Toledo. Will Toledo. He goes under mostly Will Toledo or Car Seat Headrest. He used to have a. Uh, uh, band that was also a solo project that he uh, did in high school called Nervous Young Men. Uh, I won't be talking about them today. Minus one minor thing. Will Toledo started off making music, uh, recording it in the back of his car, which is where the band name Car Seat Headrest came from. And if you know absolutely nothing about them, they make indie rock music, uh, it was most. It was a solo project until about 2014, where Will Toledo took on one new member being Andrew Katz, and then I think in 2015 he added Ethan Ives, and after that he added uh, Seth. I don't know his last name. I'm sorry, and um, I'm pretty sure Seth used to be one of his old friends too. I don't want to get into into Will Toledo lore because that's not part of the video, but basically they make indie rock music of varying types of topics sometimes it's relationships sometimes it's about society and teenagers role in it all sorts of stuff but um that's all you need to know for right now let's say you want to listen to them all right part two of the video <laughs> all right welcome to part Two of the video. Now that you know all the basic info about car seat headrest you've ever wanted to know, where do you start? They have all these albums. He has all these old lo-fi albums, and they get more hi-fi as they go on. Maybe you might know that, or maybe you might not. Maybe you've heard Drunk Driver's Killer Whales, their most popular single. Maybe you've seen the fucking Dog album. Maybe you've seen the fucking Twin Fantasy album cover, and you're like, what is that? And then you listen to it, and it's like... Okay, this is indie rock music or something. You might be here because of that. I do not know. I don't know how YouTube will recommend this video. I'm probably going to post it on the Car Seat Headrest subreddit, though. But, where do I start? I he got all this music. He's got, like, 20 fucking albums. What am I supposed to do to find the, the cream of the crop here? Well, my good friend, I'd recommend starting with uh, their, their album from 2016, Teens of Denial. Teens of Denial is an album that has to do a lot with the role of teenagers in society, uh, depression, a lot of what Will Toledo was going through at the time. I mean, his lyrics are always about him for the most part, but this album is more about a lot of societal things rather than just Will Toledo on his own. And he makes a lot of profound messages, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot of good catchy songs on on this album it, it's it's pretty goddamn good you have drunk drivers killer whales the most popular single it's this sort of two-part first part's a ballad second part's a really good indie rock song and um you have songs like drugs with friends which is a oh my god it's an emotional song it's so so goddamn good you have the 11 minute piece the, the ballad of costa concordia it's a masterpiece and in general teens of denial is a bit more punky than the rest of will toledo's work which might not work entirely well if you're starting 
but it's better than starting with Twin Fantasy, and I'm going to get into that right now. Twin Fantasy is probably his most popular album if you don't count Teens of Denial existing because you've probably seen the Dog album cover. The Teens of Denial album cover ain't as, ain't as big because you've seen the you've seen the Dog album cover, right? You've seen it. It's it's two dogs. They're... Have you seen it? Have you seen these dogs? The Dog album cover. There's two versions of this album. The first one is called Twin Fantasy Mirror to Mirror, which came out in 2011 as just Twin Fantasy. It's a lo-fi indie rock album about a relationship beginning and ending basically and it's really good and the re-recording called Twin Fantasy Face to Face is the same songs re-recorded in higher quality and with multiple lyric changes a few stylistic changes and that's that's kind of important because you can't look at Face to Face and Mirror to Mirror and say they're the same album. They're very different, despite having the same song, same lyrics, same structure. Not same lyrics, but same song, same structure. They're very different, and I, in different contexts, blah, 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 blah. If you enjoy low fidelity audio and you want to get a more emotional in the moment sort of feel from the vote from vocals i recommend listening to mirror to mirror it's the version i prefer it's the version i heard first i'm a i'm an old head like that or gen one or whatever you want to call me face to face is still really good really good there's some versions of songs that are better on there like famous prophet stars is probably better than famous prophets minds but yeah, Twin Fantasy is probably what you should visit second. And it it all just depends on what you prefer. If you prefer higher fidelity audio and... Yeah, that's about it. Higher fidelity audio. Listen to Face to Face. It's, it's a great album. I prefer Mirror to Mirror. I don't want to get into it. I don't want to start arguments. Um, listen to the song Bodies if you want to start with Twin Fantasy else if you listen to Teens of Denial and enjoyed that go listen to all of Twin Fantasy in, in like one go because it's it's something it's really good it has a uh, there's a lot of really good lyrics in it it's a it's a lot more personal to Will Toledo than Teens of Denial was a lot of the songs are about him and about the relationship he's in or how he's feeling about something and yeah, you have amazing tracks on that uh, on Twin Fantasy. You have you have famous prophets. You have bodies. You have cute thing. You have hide to death. You have sober to death. You have stop smoking. You have my boy. You have beach life and death. You have the title track Twin Fantasy. You have nervous young and humans. All those wonderful songs. I love all of them. And uh, there's some spoken word pieces. Uh, you you'll probably hear through a lot of. There's, there's a few in Twin Fantasy, I believe. There's like two or three. Some people don't like that. I don't know why. But, um, yeah. So, where should you go from here? You listen to their two biggest albums. Oh, what's... Teens of Style? What's this? Is this like a counter... Like a, like a, like a thing that has to do with Teens of Denial? No. This... Teens of Style... Don't listen to Teens of Style. You, you're getting it from the... the car seat headrest mastermind here like I'm, I'm big brain 100 million iq right now 100 million iq move don't listen to teens of style don't okay it's remakes of uh songs that will toledo made uh throughout his his low fidelity like career that lasted like four years don't i don't think you should listen to it you should listen to the original songs first and then listen to the remakes if you want i I think Teens of Style is is not his weakest effort, but it's one of his weakest efforts, and that's not a problem. It's still very good. It's like it's like a 7.5 out of 10. So, don't go to Teens of Style. You should go to either say you enjoyed the longer songs, the more the more I don't know uh, intellectual uh, shit from Will Toledo. Go listen to How to Leave Town. This shit is a bit more personal to Will than Teens of Denial was. It sort of has a 
a similar sound to it. It's a bit more prog rocky than Teens of Denial, but it's it's similar. I think he was working on the songs for Teens of Denial and How to Leave Town at the same time. And uh, How to Leave Town is very good. There's a there's a few more synths on that, like Kimochi Warui. That's a very good song. Uh, that's probably my favorite song on there. Now, no, I like every song on there minus the uh, the I ninety five or whatever the fuck it's called interlude, which is just an instrumental. Um, so listen to How to Leave Town if you enjoyed Teens of Denial and New Twin Fantasy a bit more, I guess. If you really enjoyed Twin Fantasy Mirror to Mirror, congratulations, buddy. It's time for you to it's time for you to fall even further. Be if if High to Death and Famous Prophets depressed you, you're about to get fucked. Go listen to Monomania. Uh, this album is a bit less about relationships. It's very much a breakup album. Songs like Romantic Theory, Antra Right. <laughs> there, there's some. They got some good lyrics. They're very, very good songs that have to do with Will Toledo's apparent breakup with whoever Twin Fantasy was centered around, possibly. Uh, and other than that, there's so many good songs on Monomania. You have Times to Die, you have Maud Gone, you have Sleeping with Strangers, you have Los Barachos, you have Misheard Lyrics, you have Overexposed, all those songs. Fantastic. Misheard Lyrics is not that fantastic. I lied to you. I have performed a lie. Um, I'm going to go die now. Okay, I'm back from dying. Who would have guessed? And um, so now, say you listen to How to Leave Town and Monomania. C- congratulations, dumb apps. You-, you can now listen to, like, you know what, no. You can listen to My Back is Killing Me, Baby, or at this point, I would say move on to Teens of Style. If you want to listen to My Back is Killing Me, Baby, that's a bit more lo-fi, obviously. Teens of Style is still lo-fi, but it's not as lo-fi. It has a lot of songs from My Back is Killing Me, Baby on it. My Back is Killing Me, Baby is very good. Very good album. I love it, but uh, I can't recommend it to everybody. It's got some... It's got some Eh, songs on it, I guess, like Lawns, Prisoners of War, but it's a very good album. It's got some really catchy songs on it. It's it's not a very entirely connected album. You have songs like The Drum, uh, Strangers, which is the best song on there, Open Mouth Boy, uh, um, Something Soon. All those songs are fantastic. And a lot of my back to Killing Me Baby comes or got remade on Teens of Style. So, say you listen to Teens of Style and My Back is Killing Me Baby now. Congratulations. You're ready to move on to either the big boy choice or the what did Will make before he uh, before he started really going for writing some, some bangers. Uh, if you want to hear some uh, retro Will Toledo, listen to 3 and 4. Uh, when Will Toledo first started Carsey Headrest, he just started numbering albums. One and two are not good. Don't listen to them. I do not recommend them. They have, like, two good songs on each. If you've listened to every Will Toledo song on the planet, listen to one and two, I guess. They're, they're okay. But not good. God, I'm being harsh. He's pretty good. He's, he's a genius. Um, listen to three and four. Uh, four is more, I don't know, proggy. I don't, I don't know what to call it. It's a bit more progressive, I guess. Three has Portrait of the Artist as a Young Fag, which is a banger. It has Beach Fags. It has all the Beach songs you may have heard referenced on Beach Life in Death in the first part of that song. And, um, yeah. So, say so you don't want to listen to Will Toledo's old stuff, and you're like... What's this album you left in the middle, idiot, on the band camp? Oh, that's called Nervous Young Man. That's 20 tracks long. It's two hours. It's like a fucking feature-length film of uh, music. It has two 15-minute long songs. What well, I mean, one 15-minute long song, one 16-minute long song. The 15-minute song is the opener. You gotta be ready for it. It's uh, Will Toledo's best work, in my opinion. Uh, it has so many good songs on it. It's it's a beautiful, 
beautiful double album filled with so many amazing lyrics. I just, I love it so much. I could just start naming tracks. It's great. I made a video essay about how much I loved it, and I love it even more now. Like, I grew, I grew on certain songs that I didn't like before. Songs like Plane Crash Blues, Big Jacket, and uh, the Gun Song, and I Wanna Sweat. It, it's like I'm just naming songs. These are all like 10 out of 10 amazing songs about relationships and heartbreak and wanting to get more out of life, all sorts of stuff. The Gun Song is the best Carsey headrest song, but I'm not gonna tell you that at the beginning of the video because I don't want you to go there immediately. If you're gonna get into Will Toledo, you're not gonna like the Gun Song on, on the first go, probably. You gotta, you gotta understand the psyche. The Gun Song is a 16 minute long breakup song where uh, it's like six parts and it ends with like a Neil Young song cover. It's so good. It, it's it's magnifique, all right. It's it's a beautiful album. You should check it the fuck out, all right. Um. Other than that, there's the EP Starving While Living, which has a remake of the song Oh Starving from 3, and uh, a few other tracks like It's Only Sex and uh, Reuse the Cells. It's okay. Uh, middle, middle of the road, like a 7 out of 10. It's, it's a pretty good EP. Whoa! Gamer moment. Uh, I was about to edit the video, and then I realized I forgot to mention one particular album disjecta membra which um is this this thing it's um it's uh, an album of outtakes from nervous young man it has a lot of songs from uh his old project nervous young men uh but remade obviously which he did remake a few songs on nervous young man that album as well and um so now you're here Whoa, I listen, I listen to all Will Toledo, or I just watched the video and didn't listen to any Will Toledo yet. That's crazy, bro. Alright, so let me hit you with this. Part 3. <laughs> Welcome to part 3 of the video. Uh, this is for advanced car seat headresters only. Real gang weeders, if you feel me. Um, I wanted to comment on a piece of drama that I see thrown around sometimes, which is uh, Monomania and uh, the song Anchorite being transphobic and it having to do with part of the song being titled Death of a Lady Man. I do not believe Kate Wirtz was Kate Wirtz at the time. I am not one to speak on anything about trans people. I don't know too much about them, but if you've listened to every fucking Will Toledo song, you would know that he's not that kind of guy, like, making fun of somebody because of their sexuality. He's very clearly bi or, like, pan or, like, gay. I don't know. Like, he's very clearly, like, pretty accepting of the LGBT community. I don't, I don't think in his 2013 album that he's trying to fill with great songs and great lyrics and good things, he's gonna be like, man, I'm just gonna diss trans people and after naming a part of a song that you don't know is the name of the part of the song unless you look at the fucking lyrics page that I believe was probably, no, it wasn't. I was gonna say the lyrics page was illustrated by Kate Wirtz, but I don't think it was. Uh, Kate Wirtz did the lyric sheet for Twin Fantasy though. And it seems dumb to me um, for people to think that way, to think that Will Toledo would be transphobic. It seems foolish. It seems like a bad way to bring down a good album like Monomania. Anyway, my music. Okay. I make, I make uh, like, Indietronica synth pop rap, all sorts of dumb garbage that I've made for a few years now. Uh, if you want to listen to my good albums, there is uh, there is No Day, and there is Kane Dies, and uh, and then there's Torch. Listen to those if you want to learn more about me, I guess, or listen to art that a Carsey Headrest fan made. That's it for today.
Bye-bye.